President Eisenhower observed that history does not long entrust the care of freedom to the weak or the timid. Unfortunately, weakness and timidity have too often characterized President Obama's foreign policies. A case in point is the President's New START Treaty, signed with Russia earlier this year. Its ratification is currently under consideration by the Senate. Peace through strength, it is not. The treaty would give Russia an even greater advantage in its total number of nuclear weapons. It calls for restraints and reductions on us that would not have to be matched by the Russians. And inexplicably, it limits our ability to deploy an effective missile defense system. As such, it fails to address the looming threats posed by Iranian and North Korean nuclear proliferation. You can count on the Russians to bargain in their own interest, just as you can count on some liberals to sign any agreement that sounds good on the surface, even if it puts us at a disadvantage. This is not the first time that this administration's agenda has damaged our national security interests. President Obama's decision to abandon our missile defense system in Central Europe undercut key allies like Poland and the Czech Republic. Rarely in history has any development carried such awful possibilities as a nuclear armed missile in the hands of evil men. And rarely in history has any program had the promise to do more good or spare more suffering than a system of missile defense. By impeding our missile defense system, New START impedes our national security. I urge you to go to heritageforamerica.org and sign the petition to your senators urging them to stop the START treaty immediately. Thanks so much.